Hey, hey, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to explain um, why in AutoCAD we use layout tabs. Okay, um, up until now, most of my tutorials, um, we've done all of our work in model space, including putting the border of the drawing in model space. And um, when you're using AutoCAD, that's actually not the ideal situation. Um, you're going to want to have your border in a layout tab. Okay. All right, so what I have here is I have um, two drawings on the screen, and everything here is in model space. And I just kind of want to show you that um, this drawing over here um, fits nicely inside of an 8.5 by 11 border. Okay, and um, in the past what we've done is been able to print that uh, right out onto the printer and it's not a problem. Uh, the drawing itself is at one-to-one -one, and the borders at one-to-one -one, and everything works great. Um, but what's going to happen is you're going to start running into drawings that do not fit nicely inside of an 8.5 by 11 border or even um, other paper sizes because the drawing itself is too big. And um, what we do in AutoCAD is we draw everything at a scale of one to one. So even if you're drawing um, a large set of house plans or um, you know, you're drawing maybe property lines, you're going to draw them to the real life size that they are. And so getting that drawing onto a border uh, in model space poses a lot of problems. Um, and you don't really want to change the size of the actual drawing. You want to keep that one-to-one. -one. It, it um, makes changes and everything much easier if everything is true size. So how do we solve this, this dilemma of large drawings on small pieces of paper? Um, well, what we do here is I have an example of a drawing that is a little bit too big to fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper in model space. So you'd see if I were to copy this border over here, um, you can see that the um, drawing doesn't fit on the border Okay, uh, in model space. And I don't want to scale the drawing. Um, to make it fit and I don't want to scale the border. Okay, so um, let me erase that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use a border in a layout tab. Alright, so let's explore what that is. Okay, so I'm going to come here to the layout tab and I already have put a border and a viewport in here. Um, and let me just kind of show you what this is. All right, so what we have here, basically the white that we're looking at is a piece of paper. Um, think of this as a piece of paper that's actually in your printer. Um, and then this large, heavy pink line here um, is a hole. It's called a viewport, and that is cut into the piece of paper. All right, so um, if I were to erase the viewport or erase the hole, um, it looks like my drawing is gone, but what's actually happened is I've just erased the hole and I'm just looking at a solid piece of paper. So right now if you can picture this solid piece of paper is between us and model space, okay? And the only way that we can see the model is to have the hole cut in the piece of paper. Okay, so I'm going to do an undo there to bring that uh, that hole back, okay? So um, once I activate the viewport um, and by double clicking inside of it, um, you can see I can look into model space and I can zoom and I can pan and um, I can move things around, okay? Um, one of the nice things that the viewport is able to do is it's able to have something called a zoom scale. All right, so if we look down here on the status bar uh, while we're actively in model, this model represents the viewport being active, um, there's a scaler and I can pick different scales. Um, so if I'm only worried about getting this flange into the viewport, 
Um, I can try a scale of one to one for starters, and um, one to one is definitely too big. So let's try a scale of one to two. Okay, I'm just going to pan that over. And there, that scale works quite well on this drawing. Now, what this is, is it's actually called a zoom scale. So it's um, the closer the drawing comes towards me in the viewport, uh, the larger it appears. And the further away the drawing um, is scaled in the viewport, the smaller it appears. So it's not really changing the physical size of the drawing that I drew. It's um, the scale is either moving the drawing closer to the piece of paper or further away from the piece of paper. All right. So um, now that I have that scale set, um, I'm able to work in the paper space world, okay, which is where we are right now. And you'll notice that it says paper right here down on the status bar. All right, and um, anything um, basically in the paper space world um, usually is your border, okay? So I can um, edit things in the paper space world. I'll call this flange drawing, okay? And um, maybe even finish editing up the title block here, okay? All right, so that's just kind of a beginner introduction to um, using layout tabs, um, paper space, and viewports. Okay, um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get your title block into a layout tab. All right, thanks for watching.